Hi everybody, so welcome to day 12 of the 90 day challenge. Uh, this is what happens when the day gets away from you. It's late again for me, but I will not miss a day. Um, you know, I'm completing my homework list before I go to bed. And, uh, you know, today I guess is kind of all about perseverance and or the roller coaster of being an entrepreneur. <laughs> I had a phenomenal meeting this morning. Every time I get to meet, it just gives me such energy. I am so excited so driven. Um, I'm finally on to what I know is right, is right for me, is right up my alley, and is purpose-driven. So incredibly exciting. So I came off that meeting and I mean just so much energy, so just full of life. And then I went and had a conversation with the principal at my school um, just to try and have yet another conversation and it was a reminder of how close-minded um, my administration is at this point in time. There's, they're just extremely close-minded. If they haven't found something, if they haven't heard of it before, and it's worked out time and time again, they don't even want to kind of entertain the idea. Um, I don't know, maybe it's my lack of selling well and I the saddest part is I know I don't even need to sell this you know but I'm not doing a good enough job to convey it to other people at this point in time um so I'm hoping that improves and I'm still gonna move forward um every day I'm going to move forward I know what we're creating is something that my kids my I say my kids that's my students what they need and, you know, I'm going to see where it goes from here. It's just an incredible to be on such an extreme high and then come down to like such, you know, like that balloon got deflated quick to, you know, retire bootstraps. And here we go again. Um, I guess that's kind of, kind of part of life. You're going to find the people that are part of your tribe and part of those that are seeing, willing to see your vision. And you're going to have those that you're just going to have to kind of walk around, work around, and, you know, keep moving forward from there. Uh, when you're on to something that for your core is so true, it's amazing. You don't really care when you have to walk around those people. It's like, oh, not for you. Okay. Still going to make my game plan. Still going to move forward. Still going to do what I need to do and get this into the hands of, you know, the people that need it. So, um, you know, keep plugging forward whatever it is you're working on. And, you know, again, this wasn't the first two days into um, my journey here. We're a few months in and more and more and more. I'm just totally driven, totally dedicated, 110% into uh, where this is headed. And, uh, you know, I look forward to sharing more information as we go through. Um, I love the ability to work with other people to, to create things. You know, some people are total solo and, you know, you got this all on your own, which is fabulous. And that's great. Um, I am so excited to be able to work with multiple people because of the different viewpoints and the different strengths and what everybody is bringing to the table, you know, all at the same time. So for me, I'm really excited that so far, you know, it's not alone and that, the universe has provided some truly, truly phenomenal people uh, to be able to work with. And uh, I am just over the moon uh, excited. So even though it's really late and I, you know, should be sleeping right now, uh, I'm going to stay committed to this and I'm going to stay committed to this path. And so each and every day it'll it'll get better and better. I'm looking forward to not having a mask over my face for the next week so that hopefully my nose will get a little better here. Um, update on the back situation. Uh, I would say yesterday it felt like I was run over by an 18-wheeler. Um, today I would say we're downgraded to about a one-ton truck. Um, so hopefully maybe tomorrow we can go down to the size of like a VW Bug or a Yaris or something. My back is still pretty awful. Um, there's still a lot of pain, but... It's definitely better. And uh, 
Today was, they called it ugly sweater day at work, but I don't own an ugly sweater instead. And I'm actually really, really proud of this. My mom made me this sweatshirt, um, I'll admit it, like 22 years ago. This is actually counted cross stitch and she actually stitched the whole thing for me. Um, so one, I love that I still get to wear it. Two, I love that it still exists. And three, I love that it still fits, that I can actually still get into the sweatshirt. Uh, so kind of super proud, just odd moment there. Uh, I always get to wear it, you know, on the last day right before we, we go to Christmas break. And um, so tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Hopefully y'all don't have to work. And, and if you do, bless you, um, you know, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it's a good day for you. And I'll be back in action. Hopefully not too late tomorrow, but it'll be what it'll be. But I will be back tomorrow. Have an amazing night, everybody. And thanks so much for listening in. Bye now.